And this final poem, uh, for those of you who are big fans of Wallace Stevens, and I'm guessing there are none of you, um, he has a poem called The Idea of Order at Key West. It's one of his probably five most famous poems that he ever wrote. This is a recreation of that poem line for line, uh, including the rhyming that he had in it. But it tells the story, true story, I, I mean, obviously, I wasn't there, so I don't know, but the general story is true, of the time that Ernest Hemingway and Wallace Stevens got in a fist fight in Key West, which is a thing that actually happened, and you can read about it. And I was unaware of it until this year. My friend Lyman mentioned it to me in our exchange, and I went, oh my goodness, i got to do something with this. So this is the idea of manhood at Key West. Though he wrote about the sea's roughness, those waves never coalesced into metaphors the way his fists did, crashing over and over into the poet's face. Water fell on the melee and threw the moon's disapproving visage back in ripples as recently shined Oxfords scattered, gathering puddles into the night. A novel is not a promise, nor is a poem. All the wasted words tasting of whiskey flung from angry tongues without thought became what Wallace Stevens sought. Hemingway grinned as they fought, 20 years younger, far more frisky, and ready to wreck the hands he brought. But is a man mere songs of fury? What jury would convict him, even so far south, for taking issue with how the vast ocean swallows the sun after supper. Who loves this world just as it is? Every stanza, sentence, is an argument with language itself. Hear the crack of wrinkled knuckles on a taut jaw. See the bloody body fall in a heap around crumpled fingers that failed to write this moment into existence in anything other than conditional future a tense sorely, solely for pessimistic dreamers. Imagine anger flowing sanguine, pink rivulets painting storm drains with the never-ending folly of men. Listen for the thrashing of sharks baited by our inability to simply contain even our own blood. The sirens laugh at all this useless bluster. Stories pause and talk quietly amongst themselves to consider how best to proceed. As the bruised insurance executive is helped to his feet, he finally realizes the sea is one long run-on sentence which the moon's been writing for eons. The sky an unending celebration of the sound blue makes in the small, dark cavity of a human mouth. Fists often fail in exactly the same way as words. But that fact is nearly impossible to explain. Life is an unfinished song we forget we were even writing every time light glints brightly on the horizon. We convince ourselves we must find a way to contain all the beauty in the world, but you can't even hold desire in a fist. When the poet finally pried open his battered hands, was he at all surprised they were empty? <laughs>